does come out sooner rather than later. Find some damage, does not find any kills. Rain instead finds good bad world dropping the Grover, the Inara Falls as well. Nice hook there from the Makoa. And it looks like Flashpoint are getting wiped here and they are in Stush Gaming. Look to be in the driver's seat, potentially taking game number two here and they are. The respawns are not in time unless the Vivian can get a touch, but she cannot. Stush Gaming find themselves. It doesn't. The numbers are deceptive. It's about application of that damage. The damage that Stush brought out was almost always important and effective. Whereas Flashpoint damage, I don't want to call it superfluous or, or ineffective. Damage is damage, but it didn't always result in the kill. It didn't always result in an effective kill. There's a huge difference yeah. between a kill and an effective kill. And almost everything Stush brought to the table wound up having a consequence, and everything was meticulously planned. And that's why Stush Gaming not only takes away the win, Gore, but impresses me. They're going up against Stush, and Stush hasn't really changed their roster. I mean, again, they're going to be the same group of guys that's been coming in, but they haven't really gotten to have their breakout moment. No, I mean, you know, it goes one of two ways when you're 0-4, right? Either you're, you know, you're Bork and you're happy with your roster and you just want to continue to get better with it. And, and frankly, I don't think that's a bad way to go. If you really do like the roster, everyone kind of agrees and everyone gets along and plays well together, then I think it's totally fine for you to kind of just work it out with that roster. No, that's kind of how Na'Vi got yeah. started, right? That's, uh, you know, a big part of how Envy got their start, really, just kind of making it happen, making a couple of roster changes along the way, but for the most part, Navi were a third place team for a long, long time. And I will say, if I remember correctly, this is actually a very- Notice, Chico using the ability to take that reversal and claim Ooh, that nice. barrage and hit the double kill as well. The technique from the Andro, the triple kill. Whoa, Stush Gaming making a statement here on Serpent Beach. But great play, great heads up awareness too, to be able to pop the enlightenment and there was no reversal ready for it. That could have been dangerous if there was. Dome Shield activated and that's bought them time. Alex maybe just trying to dive in, start the contest. Harder time hitting you. And the fight's taking too long. The rain is down by nice. himself, but big shots here from Nico. Double kill for Nico. Can they turn it around? That's what you have to consider. Woo! Trying to get aggressive and find some kills is Chico. He's going low. Woo! Now he's going to 1v1 the Woo! Grover. And down goes Tarek. Down goes Paradoxy. Two for Stop Chico it. now. AMK reversing one on the opposite side. Oh, this is crispy right here. Give him the fist. Give him the fist. Oh, yeah. Rampage. Turn it around. Chico trying to make some plays today. Done as well. Nothing. He didn't find anyone. You have the advantage here if you're stuck. If you push down the gas pedal, you have the ultimates ready. That could make a difference here. Uh -oh. Your time in space as well. A couple kill, uh, a couple kills picked up for Stush here. This could be it going through and make it four to two. Oh, I damn. think this more. And frankly, that's a beneficial setback. It gets him back up onto the high ground. Chico can find be it. his third. Two more for Barrack. One for Tyra as well. And they do it all without any healing because look who's back there on the point, just capturing away dutifully. Yeah. John was able to get a ton of kills, but you always had, well, where's that tire mark? I can yeah, exactly. do a little bit more damage at 96k, almost 97k, made a huge difference when it came down to it. Victor, I think, was able to eat out a little more. Actually, no, I think he's sitting around 70, but it was just not as comfortable overall on the side of Aaron Manor. Whereas this collapse, I mean, this fight, everything from Stush looked kind of really good that game. Yeah, they were really comfortable on their roles, I think, and on their pushes. They, they knew what they wanted to do. They executed really fast every mid. I mean, yeah. you see that Ancient Rage was in their face in that last mid almost immediately. You know, they were really they were really pushing him down. And their comp, the Leon is super good as a mid ranger. That actually clipped Barrett. I think it did. I, there was a, a little bit of health chunked away there on v Clax, the bowling ball shield. Mitigates a little bit of that damage. Rain, though, he's doing a beautiful job of holding down this high oh, ground. come on, bud. Two, literally one not more to shot. Off more than he can chew there. Playing just a little bit safe. Uh, V-Clax looking like he's set to go down here. Aelwell's going to be cleaning that one up. There's three members of Aaron Monner here. This could start to go in the wrong direction. Stush Gaming, they're on the point as well. And Andrew doing a good job flitting around. Overpower connects on Atlas, though. He's going to get the kill as well. Oh, or does no. it? Bounces off the rock. Big second chance here for Alelol now. Hits the setback onto Khan and turns his sights well played oh. there. Stush Gaming grab another payload as a result the objective and that should probably about wrap it up. It's so looking that way, v Clack is going to be down uh, to the con to try to get in there and get a touch, but they're both going to fall. Unlimited fails. King Nick as well. There's the accursed arm just for a little icing on the cake. The first Stush one of the gaming. Game.
Actually, might have been. I don't feel if like he, used it, he was holding that <laughs> if one. If he used it up to that point, he was saving that for a rainy flashy. day. Was, uh, I have to uh, commend Stush Gaming there. There were so many kills coming up in Air Miner's favor, and they were yeah. able to respawn, stall out the push. It's all about rain. And really give themselves a the chance here to defend. Rain has been so phenomenal. I think stalling these out, being objective minded, being in, in, and just in control of of what he can do with this barrack. Pushing down a support and, and getting out cleanly. I mean, this yeah. guy has been the MVP of Stone Keep, without a doubt. Almost pretty much win or lose, I think he was he's been the most valuable player playing this game. I'd agree. Ale takes down Ruckus to Rain, making sure that he stays objective minded here, eating a ton of damage from Vivian. That's not something that you can stand against, even as an R for too long Ooh, with the convergence. convergence, Dave. That might put it away. That's a convergence into an ice storm, and it looks like this payload's going through, and Stush Gaming, not only do they win the map, they win three for the first time this season and find victory number one. But it was Ale the 12 and four on the other side here on the Atlas. That just did wonders. There was actually one time he did get caught out, couldn't rewind because of a Dread Servant, but really, other than that, I don't think I saw him have a bad moment. Oh yeah, no, I, I I agree. I mean, Atlas is just really strong on maps where you're going to be poking. I mean, oh my God, that's that's a monstrous setback. That's crazy. He did he played fantastic this game. I thought with the poke, like the only time he died, I, I meant he he got hexafired and dread serpented. Like they had to commit two alts just to get him out of the fight, and his pressure combined with the, the cap pressure from the rest of the team was just too much to overcome. And I believe it was actually earlier in the set he was playing, and like the only comment, like you just kind of sat back and you're like, you can tell this guy's been playing Alice. Like yeah. he's been sitting down, he's been putting in the time because there's a lot of nuance to the champion that I think will escalate him to kind of where he is in like a top pick position for some teams. Overtime. Okay. Victory. That's what I'm talking about. Good job, guys. Good stuff. Watch out, point. Lian on the high ground. Oh, Lian is on the left. On the left. Cover me, cover me, cover point. Cover point. Cover point. Lian one, Lian one, guys. Lian cover one. point. Got Just kill the Koga on point, guys. <laughs> no, Koga no, one shot on point! What? what the okay, fuck is this? Kilian, Kilian on point. What the fuck? The Ying, you can get good healing, but they're burning down. With this bulldozer, they're getting rid of illusions. They only have the 800 heal from the Shatter to come through, and it's just not enough. Uh-oh, the first pick comes through for Chico. He finds the second now on the Skeppy. Here's the Dragon Punch. Could be flying in. His health bar is very, very low. He needs to find one. He's just going to use it for a little bit of a position change. Smart there from them. If he goes down, this honestly gets flipped around to Legacy. Getting pinched in on here by Chico, That's by good. Nico Noob here. So Chico with three in this fight, 69% for Stush. That's climbing upwards. And now Flashpoint, they were so close to winning. They're the ones who need to fight back into it. The kills are going to determine, honestly, who wins this one with it being as close as it is. 93, 96%. Somebody has to get in there and get a touch. It's going to be Prosper. Seismic Crash comes through, but he's so low. He's going to get cleaned up. The dash and the healing are all good right now. And Nara needs to stay alive. She does. She dances out of it. The kills, though, the damage there so much, it's coming back. It's all red, but Stush, they get in there. They get the touch, and they've done it. That they was, do it again. Yes. That was the 